becoming a real living wage employer is uh, incredibly important for the council uh, and the borough, not least because it gives that thanks and recognition to the staff who do an amazing job all year round, but have done so especially during the pandemic. And it recognises the contribution they make and the importance of saying they need a wage that they can live on, uh, that they can encourage them to stay in their jobs and that can lift them out of poverty in many cases. But it's also important because it's a way that we recover from the pandemic in the best possible way, in the fairest way and in the strongest way. We're putting money into people's pockets that they will spend in their local economies, that they will contribute to their local shops and that they will share amongst their friends and neighbours across the borough. So this is really important on so many fronts. It's a matter of fairness, but it's also going to help us recover as strongly as we can. And that's why I'm so proud that we've been able to do it. We strongly believe that our workforce should have their fantastic efforts caring for our loved ones in our care village here at Heathlands recognised and that's why we're aspiring to be a real living wage employer. So we're going to hear now from uh, Anne, Tom uh, and Deborah uh, who work here at Heathlands Village uh, and they're going to just explain a little bit about what they do and why uh, being paid a real living wage is so important. My name's Anne and I'm part of the wellbeing team and I do activities on a daily basis. We have different things going on each day. Um, it's optional, if you don't want to join in you don't have to, but a lot of the time it gets them out of the rooms and it gets them to meet people and to make friends. And about this the living wage, I feel that it makes me feel appreciated because it's been really, really hard this year um, working under the circumstances we've been working in. We've lost a lot of people, which is really hard, because people become friends and not just people that you're working with. So it make, makes me feel like I've been appreciated and obviously all extra money helps and it will help me a lot. I'm Tom, I'm part of the catering team. I've been here 19 years. Um, I work with a great catering team of staff. Um, we deliver a good um, service of food production to, um, and welfare to the units. Um, regarding the pay incentive, I think it's great because it makes you feel um, privileged and like worthy of um, what you are getting and anything increased in future will be um, very welcomed. Hi, I'm uh, Deborah. I, I'm a housekeeper. I've worked here for seven years as a Fed. Uh, it's a very rewarding job. Um, mainly it's that we're, we're keeping the place clean, hygiene, things are in place and it's, it's a really nice place to work. Um, the, the living wage that we're, we're, going, we're receiving is absolutely fantastic. It does make you feel appreciated that all through all this it's been worth, you know, we're, we're all proud of what we've done anyway and, and rightly so, we all should be proud of each other and we, we are, we're, we're like a big family here anyway at the Fed. Uh, and I think that is the truth, that it's not something, I think if you talk to most people, that's what they would say, it's a family here. Uh, we're here to uh, thank uh, all the staff, uh, our his friends who worked very hard during the last year and a half throughout the pandemic. And I'm very pleased because I lead on the real living wage that this uh, will be uh, implemented here and it was, you know it's, it's certainly a recognition of the hard work that the staff here has put in. No doubt uh, the real living wage will improve the uh, working conditions for the uh, staff here, their morale, uh, there would be a morale boost, a, a better relationship between the employer and employee and of course more money into the pockets of uh, us hard working staff.